welcome to the EEPROM 9. Remember when one of, I can't remember who it is now, asked what issue motherboard I have? Well, it turns out the simple solution to that, to getting it to colour, is I'm getting sick of not being able to see things in some of the games. It's really quite annoying. It's potentially this jumper here could be what does it with a hard drive. IDE thing and I have one of them. So we're just going to confirm the issue of the motherboard. But they've stuck a sticker over it. It looks. <laughs> looks like it's going to be an issue 7. Which is good because that means I have to do no soldering. Because I don't have a soldering iron at uni. Oh shit. Stupid sticker. That is a 7 alright. So yeah. We'll just do this then, so let me just put the camera down, because I'm currently not using the tripod. So I shall put the camera... You can see who I've been watching, but she, she seems... She's bloody knowledgeable about this computer. <laughs> Whoa, power supply is quite hot, but then I have only just switched it off. And now, we get the ID thing. Now I want... Okay, so here's the connector over here in this dark gloomy corner. Here's the little IDE thingy my bob for jack um, Pop it over this. Not much of a connection, a bit loose, so we'll do a bit of bending, give it a bit of a tighter fit. And now we'll put the bead back together and see what happens. Righty then, so we'll pause the camera and I'll see you after the break. Bins, 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 and more bins! Welcome to binsdirect.com, where we're the leading in advertising and selling of bins. We sell nothing but bins in nothing but this same shape and size as what you can see here. Call us now on 090. Oh, 500, 500, 5,000. And you'll be sure that satisfaction is not guaranteed. Order now. You can mail order only, despite having a website. Terms and conditions apply. Offers expire within five microseconds. Back to the scheduled program. Okay, so the beebs all put back together. Uh, the electron laptop over there, which is running away up to itself, doing the electronic thing. So, we'll just go here. And we have the BBC thingy, so we still alive. Now, um, I won't bother getting the tripod to you, have to view it. At a really awkward, hard to see angle. To help you out, I shall turn off the lights and hopefully gravity won't knock my camera off the table. Um, yeah, that made positively no difference whatsoever. Well, it'll have to do, so we go. I've also got a little printout. What's going on? I haven't touched anything. Oh, that's the electron. Yeah, that's the electron. Okay, I'll have to hold it and you'll just have to bear with me because I'm not getting a tripod. Uh, in, I've learned to use this interface now. Um, where is it? Pac-Man, where are you? Why did I put it one? And then, shift break will sometimes boot it, sometimes it won't. In this case it didn't, so I have to retype it out. Then one. Otherwise we have to type a command. This command to boot stuff. And that boot. And hopefully the keyboard hasn't typed in incorrectly. Yay! We have colour! And now, when I hit space, and no, there we go. Yay! We can actually see what's going on! Success! And I will quickly be destroyed by the ghosts when they decide to become intelligent. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Should have just done this from the beginning. Doesn't require any permanent stuff to the BBC. Oh well, such is life. Thanks for watching.